and um, <clears throat> yes what else can we do we could now um, go ahead and create for instance a little bit of ambient um, lightning like that and maybe even you know sort of that the light is even reflecting a little bit or dropping on the surfaces like that and same thing for this area Oops, that was too much. Alrighty, looks pretty interesting. And let's go to rendering, rendering, right here. Go to the accumulator. And let this guy also sort of shine, uh, glows. And maybe dropping in a little bit of shadow in there to indicate some sort of Uh, some sort of space okay Let's see and then duplicate uh, create a new layer <clears throat> and let this thing also low and then maybe a little bit that's a little bit too much I think also hitting a little bit of the exterior right here and maybe a little bit on the DLO area as well and coming from this side as well okay let me think about the DLO area maybe we could Make it a little bit darker. Like that. So as you can see, I'm still playing around, still not really sure. Um how this thing looks finally Let's 
see. Still playing around with the color. I don't know. Black looks really cool. Okay. So I think I'll go with black. Uh, what else can we do? Um, now, we're coming to the end, I think. Um, but before we finish this tutorial, let's actually create um let's actually create a levels layer and play around and give it some sort of a bluish cold tint to the overall image so that uh all the layers uh melt into each other so I'm thinking about a really cold greenish turquoise maybe like so um, let me bring that down actually so that you can see something darker pump up pump up and you can see how now everything pumps out okay like that maybe alrighty and let's see maybe Putting in a little bit more darkness right here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And I think that's too much actually. I have to delete a little bit of that. Too much reflection. So a little of that. Still playing around with the highlights. Okay. Maybe like that. That light, let me see where. The lights are. There. Let us change the mode actually 
to something like lighten or screen. Screen looks pretty good. Screen. Okay. The shadow, of course. Leading some of it so that it doesn't become too strong and too dominant. Okay. And maybe last but not least putting out some some types on it. So I'm just typing in something you know really making no sense four five six 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 seven 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 something like that and then bring it on top edit and we have to convert it to a smart object first so that we can play around with it and transform it okay rasterize and edit transform and let's do let's scale it down first so like that, or even more. And now we can go and skew it. And let's make sure it matches. And then I take the rectangular marquee tool, go to transform, go to warp, and then warping it a little bit to match sort of the shape. Not perfectly, but sort of. Okay. Pretty cool. Maybe decreasing the opacity a little bit and then <clears throat> creating also the title so I've called it C uh, the, the name of the of the vehicle actually C underline zero four concept Okay, and same thing again, convert to a smart object, <clears throat> rasterize, edit, transform, skew, zoom in there, and check. Alrighty, again, marquee tool, transform, warp, and again, bringing a little bit of shape in there. OK. 
Okay, great. Scaling it down a little bit so that it doesn't look too like too much. And the opacity, we're done with the opacity. Like that. Okay, pretty cool. Then I would like to work a little bit on shadow. Just a little bit more. down the opacity and we add it a little bit and guys we are through in just a sec man it was a long tutorial Really took some time, but I really, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you did too. Uh, okay. So let's see. Uh, maybe last thing. Maybe we'll do it brighter. Yeah, that looks black. No. It doesn't work with black, so I will make it some sort of silverish, sort of silverish, silverish. Okay, <clears throat> maybe duplicate one layer again. All right. I think that's it. Uh, maybe <laughs> this is really the last last thing I'll do. Take that color. And right down. C zero four slash slash concept. And with this tool, the crop tool, okay. The crop tool, we can crop the image down. Okay. Takes a little bit. Oh, I didn't hit enter, so that's why. <laughs> but it takes time though. <laughs> 